and thanks for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with ILTV's Morning Briefing. A 13-year-old Israeli girl is dead after being stabbed by a Palestinian terrorist in her bedroom this morning. The attacker breached the fence of the Israeli settlement Kiryat Arba in the West Bank and snuck into Halel Yafa Ariel's room. He then stabbed the little girl as she was sleeping. Security forces searching for the cause of the breach heard screams coming from her house and raced in to find her lying in bed unconscious. She was soon rushed to a nearby hospital where she was later pronounced dead. The attacker has been identified as 17-year-old Mukhaben Nasser Ta'areya from a nearby Palestinian town. He was shot and killed after managing to stab a guard from the settlement security team. The guard is currently being treated in an Israeli hospital. To find out more details about the attack, tune into our main show at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Nine Jewish Israeli citizens have been evacuated from Ramallah after local residents set their car on fire. Last night, the group of Israelis from the peace group Two States, One Homeland deliberately entered the Palestinian city, despite a military order to stay out of West Bank towns located in Area A, which is controlled by the Palestinian Authority. The organization claims its Jewish members were going to join Palestinian activists to hold an iftar meal for Ramadan. But the army says the activists were attacked with rocks by local residents and that one of their cars was set on fire. Fortunately, no one was hurt. The Israeli President Ruby Rivlin has sent a letter of condolence to the Turkish Prime Minister following Tuesday's tragic terror attack at an Istanbul airport. So far, 41 people have been marked dead in the attack at the Ataturk airport and more than 230 have been injured. Rivlin is calling the attack by three suicide bombers a quote, cowardly murderous act and he's offering Israeli assistance in recovering from the attack. No Israelis were injured in the terror bombing, but one Palestinian was killed and at least seven other Palestinians were injured. There are still a number of Palestinians missing and the Turkish government has agreed to cover the medical expenses for all the Palestinian victims. The joint Arab List Knesset member Hanin Zoavi set off a political firestorm yesterday after calling IDF soldiers involved in the 2010 raid on the Gaza-bound Mavi Marmara flotilla murderers and demanding they apologize. The Arab-Israeli lawmaker took part in the flotilla from Turkey that attempted to break the Israeli blockade on the Gaza Strip, and she was immediately charged by several Knesset members who tried to get her removed from the podium after her comments. Nine Turkish activists were killed in clashes that erupted after Israeli commandos were violently attacked when they attempted to stop the flotilla from breaching the blockade. Zouabi's comments came just a day after Israel signed a deal with Turkey to restore ties, after years of frosty relations sparked by the Mavi Marmara incident. Likud Knesset member David Bitan is now demanding Zouabi to be barred from the Knesset. That's all for now. I'm Natasha Kirchuk, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.